Hello. How are you guys? Hello, my dear ICPC friends. My name is Carolina Sanyak, and I'm the coordinator of our fantastic ICPC Career Boost Academy. <laughs> Uh, and moreover, I want you to know that I'm also a musician, I'm a violinist. Uh, okay, in today's webinar, we are going to talk about the benefits of yoga. Uh, I discovered them uh, when I decided to pay more attention to my body after my hand injury. Uh, yoga helped me alleviate the back, the neck and the hand pain. Uh, that I had been experiencing uh, due to repetitive motion and uh, strain resulting from improper uh, body posture and overwork, of course, and a lot of other bad habits. Uh, because of yoga, I become much more aware of my body and uh, breathing. Frankly speaking, yoga allowed me to explore music even deeper than before. That's why I invited our special guest, fantastic guest, Basia Tvorek. Hi, <laughs> how are you guys? Basia is a highly renowned figure in uh, Polish yoga world. Uh, she is a teacher, yoga teacher's educator and a girl boss. Girl boss. <laughs> she founded a successful yoga school in Warsaw. Uh, Skupienia, state of mind, and I'm incredibly happy that uh, she found uh, time in her busy schedule to talk with us today. So, Basha, Hi. hello. <laughs> hello, okay. okay. Uh, you've got a list of questions for me. Yes, I've got a list of questions for Basha. Uh, we... Hi, you guys. Uh, this is a warm welcoming for me. Uh, I I am not as, as uh, I, I'm trying to not be stressed, but this is my first webinar, first in my life, so I'm hoping for a warm welcoming from you. <laughs> and I'm sorry for my Russian uh, English. I hope you will understand as well. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting for your questions, Carolina. Okay, great. So. Our webinar will be um, divided in three or four sections, we will see. So we will talk about the things that we can do before practicing, during the practicing with instrument and uh, after, uh, after our practicing our instrument. So, but first question to Basia is, is yoga for everyone? Yes, the answer is yes. Um, the worst thing that people think about yoga is uh, that you need to be really well stretched to practice, which is completely not true, because if you were so stretched, why would you do yoga? Why, why would you practice? And we need to know that yoga is not only the exercises that we do on the mat. We are sitting on, the, on our chairs and we're going to practice as well. Uh, the most important tool in yoga is our breath and this, oh yeah, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I'm stressed, so yes, let me <laughs> breathe, breathe. Yes. but answering your questions, the yoga is for everyone, but uh, even uh, for old people and injured people and for people who are not stretched at all, but the thing we need to uh, we need to uh, know that uh, is that we need to find uh, a good way and find good exercises and find good tools uh, appropriate for your age and for your needs. So it's impossible to give the same practice to all of us. It should be it should differ depends on the person who practice. Okay. Yes. That's why I thought about it, <laughs> yes. Uh, there are a huge variety of yoga yes. styles available yes, yes, to yes. suit uh, our goals and needs. Uh, can you tell us more about it? Well, uh, yes, of course I can. <laughs> uh, there is, uh, you know, hundreds or even thousands of yoga styles. Uh, I think that every day there is one teacher who thinks, okay, I'm going to teach in my own style. And I think that it's really good thing because um, 
every student can find uh, appropriate teacher with the uh, appropriate amounts of uh, uh, level of energy, the knowledge. Uh, so it's really good thing. But uh, for the common knowledge, we can defer uh, yoga practice, uh, like split in two. Uh, the, the first, uh, uh, I don't know, the, the first shelf, <laughs> it's for uh, the practice that it's, uh, that it, it's whether you use your breath or no, okay? Mm -hmm. So with the, on the one shelf, uh, there, is, there is a styles of yoga that, that are not so very focused on using the breath. Mm -hmm. And on the other shelf, there are styles of yoga that, that the breath is on the first place. And it is called vinyasa mostly, mm -hmm. because vinyasa means uh, synchronization with breath and the movement. And I work with breath mostly, so we can say that I'm a vinyasa teacher. Uh, but... Um, uh, but I think that every teacher has his or her own style of, of running classes and yeah. showing yoga and introducing yoga to people. Yeah, Basia is also my teacher, so I recommend you. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, it's, it's, uh, she's amazing and uh, well, I'm happy to have you here and I'm, I'm glad to, uh, that I live in Warsaw. So. <laughs> Yeah, um, okay. Guys, to be able to compete, uh, we have to be in our best physical form. Uh, professor, professional musicians are like top level athletes. I'm really happy that more and more of you guys are asking questions and uh, about their bodies and uh, admit that they sometimes need a physical support. That's why, uh, like a top level athlete, we have to learn how to warm up because playing with the cold muscles uh, is dangerous. Yes, generally. generally. So, can you show us some example of warm ups that we can adapt to our daily routine of, of practicing? I will okay. try. <laughs> uh, uh, first thing that we need to know uh, about every um, uh, every practice that you do, you practice a lot with the same muscles all the time, uh, many repetitions, many exercises. Sure. So the, yes, uh, also when you play violin and if you play uh, yeah. piano, uh, we, uh, the, the parts of the body the, 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 that are always involved uh, are our wrists, hands, arms and forearms, the joints, yes, the elbows, uh, the shoulders, and neck and these are the these uh, the places where the tension goes first yes and we can also uh, include our lower back because you are mostly in a sitting pos uh, position yes mm -hmm. so all the exercise that, that that can really softly move these parts of the body like for example suppose making small circles yes small circles with your uh, arms and shoulders, yes. And you can place your hands on your shoulders and make small or big circles with your elbows. And you should also listen to your body when you feel pain or when you feel tense, mm -hmm. just uh, make the move smaller or slower. Uh, you need to know that uh, the fast move, uh, then we can switch sides, okay? Forward, yes, forward a little bit. And the things that we need to know that uh, is that we don't uh, need the fast moves, okay? Uh, it should be more precise and connected with the breath. So if you breathe slowly, yes. Okay, now relax and make a little circus forward with your shoulders. Yes, perfect. Okay. And now uh, the, really, the really important exercise for our neck is that uh, when we work forward, sitting in front of the piano or working in front of the desk, for example, I work a lot with my, with my computer, with my laptop, the neck goes forward. Yeah. Yes, and, and this causes a huge tension in our, in our neck. So the things we should do at the beginning is to move with our neck forward and back. 
many of us cannot do this movement. Mm -hmm. uh, the older you are, the, the, more, the more tension you've got. So this is really important to have a little break uh, uh, during the practice as well. We're gonna talk about it later, okay? So these are the moves that are really important. And uh, not only uh, the position of the head is responsible for the tension in our neck, it's also what happens in our jaw and, and our mouth. So it's really important to yawn a bit, like, ah, ah. yes, yes, perfect. And yawn a little bit with your uh, with your right with your right side of the mouth more. Yeah, and the left. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and do this movement. So you press with your finger here, and uh, on the contrary, you try to do this. Yes. So you are uh, now we are engaging really important muscle of of our jaw. That is really, uh, in fact, it's really, and we, you can do a little massage in here because it's really important to to relax these muscles mm -hmm. because uh, when this area is tense, uh, immediately our neck and arms are reacting for this. Okay, so uh, if you relax your jaw, relax your uh, relax your neck with moving uh, with, with moving your head. To the front and to the back when you relax your uh, shoulders now we can uh, make a little massage to our forearms it's also really really important you can do it many times a day to make this massage yes perfect it's like squeezing yes it's squeezing exactly mm -hmm. like you have the uh, like you were making a pizza, <laughs> yeah, a pizza. <laughs> or Polish pierogi, pierogi, yes, <laughs> and dumplings, dumplings. And I have a little friend with me today. This is the uh, black roll. Uh, you might have it in your home. Uh, you you can have a bottle with the water. It's really helpful. You should place it on the table, and you can um, make a massage like this when you place your. Uh, we don't have a camera, but you can imagine that, uh, that yeah, okay, this is the table. This is the, the roll or the bottle or the bottle with the water. And now I'm doing this, pressing quite heavily. And this really helps to, uh, to release the tension from the muscles and from our wrists and uh, improve the uh, blood circulation in our forearms. Okay, so so now we are heading to the most important uh, tool that you've got, the pianist uh, has, the musicians and, and have. musicians have, yes, of course, yes. our wrists. So uh, you can move the massage from the forearms towards the hands, mm -hmm. like opening, like making a sun with your, uh, with your finger, yeah, like this, mm -hmm. with your thumb. It's really important. And but then you, but you yes. can do it gently, yes? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You should feel uh, yeah. what your body like. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need uh, to use a little more force. Sometimes it's really gently and nice. And you should also uh, massage, uh, do a little massage with your fingers, taking care of the joints. They mm -hmm. like it mostly. Mm -hmm. On the sides and like this. Okay, yes. Okay, and you, if you will take care uh, of the both hands, okay, equally, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> and both forearms equally, then you can uh, take care of moving the wrists. So uh, you, you can touch the hands like this or with the small fingers and try to make cir circles towards your head really gently listen to your body yes and listen to the sound of your wrists mm -hmm. if the pain comes don't do this okay don't force your body to do things that it doesn't like and then switch sides okay perfect and then squeeze your fists 
this, yeah, like really, really, really strong. And then try to open your hands as wide as you can. And then again, squeeze and open as wide as you can. And squeeze again and open again. Perfect. And the last time, squeeze. Okay, and stay like this and try to move your fists towards the ceiling and towards the ground several times. Look that you can do it with your uh, elbows bent and then you are moving only with your forearms, but you can also straighten the elbows. And when you're moving like this, you are also engaging the arms and also the shoulders. Can you feel it, Carolina? Yeah, 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 yes. yeah, yeah. Okay, so try to do it with the straightened elbows. Perfect. And now we are checking out if our jaw isn't tense. So you can yawn a little bit. Oh, oh. Yes, perfect. Or take a, uh, take a sigh, like breathe a sigh. Oh, this is yes. really good. Breathe, breathing a sigh, it's oh. really, really good because this is, uh, breathing a sigh is a message to our nervous system that everything that is okay, that everything is fine, that you can relax. So breathe a sigh as much as you want. <sighs> oh, I like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yawning and breathing aside, this is a really, really nice thing. Yeah. Uh, I had uh, one more, but I forgot. So you can give me a question, and I uh, and it, 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 uh, if it comes to me again, course, then another exercise, I, I will find it. Of again. course, of course. Um, yes. Uh, uh, as a musician, it is fundamental for us to have a good posture. Yes. yes. And uh, how to improve? The posture. Our body posture. <laughs> yeah. This is really a really good question because as we we thought already, we are oriented forwards. Yeah. Sometimes. So the, yeah. yeah. So in general, uh, the body uh, the body goes forward. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you put a pen and you will lose it on the ground, you will never probably do it backwards. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to take it out from the ground, you will go forward to take it out. Uh, so <laughs> so we are oriented uh, towards. Yes. So the really important thing is to uh, make a little, a little backwards movement to improve our improve our back and improve our uh, backbones mm -hmm. and the space in, in between our backbones. But you need to do it really soft, especially with your neck, because it's really easy to do it like this and totally lose the space in between and make a it, it uh, and make it in a really non-comfortable way to uh, even cause the pain in the neck so uh, the thing you can do is to imagine that you have a small line uh, that is attached to, to the top of your head and you're trying to or you're wearing a crown like a queen yeah. <laughs> or a king and you are trying to work with the line attached to the top of your head so your neck wouldn't be like this it would be like this it would be long and so you're trying to go backwards but you're taking care of your neck all the time okay so don't lose this so it's always long yes the back of the the back of neck is we're trying to to make it long but it's also important to engage our pelvis okay i will stand up to for you to see and karina will be sitting okay because it's easy to block our uh, our knees. And if, when you block your knees, you don't have the movement in the pelvis. And so the thing you can do is, the, is to bend your knees slightly, bend the knees slightly, you will go down. And then you can make this move with the moves with the pelvis forward and back. Mm -hmm. You can do this on your chair as well. And you are trying, when you do this, you are trying to look, uh, if you, if you, if you do, do this movement with the pelvis, the forward, the head goes up. And when you do the movement with your pelvis backwards, the, hot, the, the head goes down to the, uh, to the okay. chest. So you can make this move several times, up and down, and then inhale, up and mm -hmm. down, exhale. Once again, up, inhale, and down, exhale. 
And this is the really good movement for uh, for improving and making a little massage of our of our backbones. Even when you are sitting, you can do this. But let's not lie. It's really it's really important to uh, do some sports that you like, mm -hmm. especially improving the the muscles of our belly because they are keeping our posture together. Okay. If you if you watch uh, only on your bone system, there is huge uh, you've got huge rib cage in here, and you've got pelvis. And between your rib cage and your pelvis, there is only a backbone. Here there is no space for bones. Yes, mm -hmm, you've got yeah. only soft parts of your body. So it's really important to improve and enforce this part of the body, so you can keep the posture uh, quite uh, straight, stable. stable and uh, protect your backbone from uh, from squeezing yes yeah. okay so we should exercise as you told before uh, the musicians are athletes as well because you <laughs> you 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 really engage your body all the time so it's really important to take care of of all the body not only the the parts that you use mostly yes yeah yeah it's and you know this yes. as uh, yeah. my yoga padawan. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, yes, we are. We require uh, a lot from our bodies. Uh, and uh, for me, I would like to say something about the breaks because uh, for me the breaks are crucial and uh, incredibly important. Um, it is essential to stop from time to time when uh, your body needs it or you do not know if your body needs it but it's crucial to just have such a break mm -hmm. uh, what can we do uh, do during such a break you know basha it's like we can i don't know get up you should get up yeah. you should get up and this is the first thing you should do is to get up and there is one uh, really my favorite position that i recommend to everybody who sits a lot or stands a lot in their work and this position in yoga is called malasana and i'm gonna show it to you i need to get up and go there so you can see me so you can see on my body yeah can you see me now yeah yeah okay and then i bend uh, I put my fingers and uh, my toes to the outside, okay? And then I bend my knees and I go down with my pelvis towards the, towards the ground, okay? And the work I'm trying to do is to relax the pelvis and to let it go down towards the ground. And at the same time, I'm trying to lift a bit my, my chest and put my elbows uh, to the inside of my uh, of my legs and spread it a little bit okay and i'm trying to stress this position at the beginning okay and oh okay this position at the beginning it can be really difficult for you you can feel the pain in your back you can feel that it's uncomfortable for your for your legs uh, this is okay uh, i think that we should give a uh, 30 seconds at least every day to do this, to do malasana. And you will see that in one week maybe uh, it will improve and then you will start to feel more comfortable. And if you will start to feel more comfortable, you can make a small twist. Like put your left hand on the ground and try to block your knee and then try to twist. If your back would be relaxed enough, you could stretch the right hand towards the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And then go back with an exhale, and then try to do this on the other side. This is one of the most important and one of the most rich uh, exercises I know, because it, it engaged both legs, the back, the, uh, the pelvis, and also the upper arms as well. So I really recommend Malasana to you <laughs> okay. for doing it every day. Uh, but as we said before, the most important thing is the breath. Yes. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> yes. I'm. So the thing we should do in breaks is to open the window, 
mm-hmm. on, or even go for a walk for even two or three minutes walk and try to breathe uh, deeply okay mm-hmm. D- deeply or deep uh, deep, deeply yeah deep. deeply to your belly um, uh, or to your chest you uh, this is the good question okay because the breath and the way how we breathe uh, is the message for our nervous system mm-hmm. maybe you have noticed in your life when when you breathe uh, towards the upper side of the chest this is the the way of breathing characteristic for the situations where you are uh, quite nervous mm-hmm. yeah. so we're breathing like <sighs> So when we are tensed, when we are stressed, we breathe towards this part of the of the chest. Uh, when you are completely completely relaxed, like when you are going to sleep, mm-hmm. or this is also characteristic for animals and for uh, little children, and especially when you want to relax and get quiet, uh, even in the night or in the evening, you breathe towards your belly as low as you can you can even lay down and put something on your belly like Mm -hmm. a book or if you have a cat you can put your cat on your belly as well and try to breathe uh, towards your belly as low as it possible even to to the lower belly if you can Mm -hmm. so this way of breathing towards the belly is the way of breathing that is the message to, to your nervous system to relax and let it go and go to sleep but the really important question is do we need this quality when we work with your with your piano or on the stage yes because we don't need to be completely relaxed we need to focus in fact yes so the way of breathing that we uh, should exercise is to breathe towards the lower parts of the rib cage okay so the belly doesn't go in front we don't we don't breathe here we try to a little bit uh, tense our muscles of the belly and try to breathe to the, to our lower rib cage you can put your hands here and try to find where your where your ribs end and when the belly starts yes mm-hmm. and you tense the belly a little bit and you try to breathe to the lower parts to the sides inhale exhale this part of our lungs the lower part of our lungs has much more capillaries than the upper back uh, uh, the the upper uh, rib cage cage, yes and this is connected to to the the quantity of oxygen that our uh, uh, our blood can take with every breath in so if you will learn how to breathe to the lower breath cage with every inhale you will uh, give your body more oxygen than when you breathe towards the upper uh, rib cage and also this is the information to your to your nervous system okay now focus Mm -hmm. okay you have enough you have enough oxygen now you can focus you can work so you are not completely relaxed like like breathing to your belly you are you don't don't have to be stressed and prepare for some dangerous situation like you are breathing only to, to your upper uh, only here yes but you can be focused and you can uh, work properly so the way of learning how to breathe because the saddest thing is that we need to pay to yoga t- teacher to teach us how to breathe again and this is really sad for me but uh, but the uh, positive information is that we actually can learn back how to breathe Uh, so the way to uh, learn how to breathe properly again uh, is to reconnect with the with the breathing towards the belly so you can dedicate one week every evening to learn how to breathe with your, with your belly first and then if you know how to breathe with your belly then you will start to learn how to lead your breath towards the lower rib cage this is the this yeah. is the really important thing. You can see an analogy when we got, for example, very simple place that we want to play. We can also think about the breathing then. 
because when we are stressed, when we've got some incredibly difficult parts in our hands, sometimes hands, even yes, stop breathing. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. We are. Uh, I usually stop breathing, so uh, there is no blood circulations because uh, yes, oxygen stop it, and uh, there is the the, the 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 brain is shut down, and <laughs> yeah, so it's. Uh, so answering your questions, it was a long answer, but uh, the, the quintessence of it is that we should get up, we should breathe uh, deeply, so maybe open the window or go for a walk, and we should do malasana maybe. And drink water. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, because it's also incredibly important, so. Okay, um, and yeah, musicians are uh, often don't uh, realize uh, how tired they are. Yeah, this is very common. Uh, and uh, what should we do when we are not in our best physical shape? Go to sleep. <laughs> Go to sleep, okay. Uh, well, uh, you were talking, it was a uh, yeah. joke, but maybe not no, uh, no. so much. <laughs> But uh, you, are, uh, you are asking me about the situation when you are extremely tired and you don't know about it, or maybe you have a bad day or something. Mm, I think that's uh, rather the first option. So, you know, you are you, tired. Yeah, I, I, I'm tired, but I need to practice because, uh, yes, because it's mm -hmm. crucial. So, w what we can do, what we can, how we can uh, end up being less tired. Mm -hmm. I think that the the really important thing is that the coffee is not the, the good solution uh, or Red Bull. Uh, it's not a good solution uh, because you will pay, your body will pay for this for sure. Uh, but the thing uh, that really helps is the magnesium bath. Mm -hmm. Did you know this? No, no. Uh, the mag does it, does it, uh, is the same in English, magnesium? Yes. Mm. I think so. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I hope. I hope that you will understand. Maybe we will check it later, but I hope it, mm -hmm. it is the same. Uh, the magnesium is the pierwiastek, um, uh, how to say? I, it's yes, too, 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 too we difficult not, for us. We are not, uh, okay, we need magnesium uh, for our muscles to work properly. And this is the first thing, uh, the, the, thing the first substance that we lose when we are stressed and exhausted. Uh, the chocolate contains it, so this is a, <laughs> a, a good, a good uh, information for us, but the to uh, to improve uh, and to feed our our body with magnesium, uh, the best thing is to take a bath with it. Uh, in Poland, you can buy it in the shop, and then you will put it in, uh, inside of the water, and it's enough to put your feet inside of the water with magnesium. Oh, it, it's okay, really it's, it's, and, it's it's good because I've got a shower, so <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to go to the bath. To okay, do so. This. You can also drink it uh, mm -hmm. because you can buy it also in the in a dr drinkable form in uh, in the pharmacies, uh, and you can as well eat chocolate. It's legal. <laughs> you can yes. use this dark dark one. Dark, dark one. Yes. Yeah. Mm, so, so so this is the first solution because this this is the first substance that our muscles lose when we are exhausted and tired. And this is the first substance that we really need to recover from it. So, mm -hmm. so this is the first thing. The second thing, or that should be first, and I should uh, set, for, set it first, is the oxygen, okay? So if you are sitting like this, breathing towards the lower, uh, the, the upper rib cage, in a really dark room without the uh, windows, okay? So this is the worst thing that you can do for your brain, for your nervous system and for your muscles and for your body. So if you are exhausted, open the window, stretch or go for a walk for a while. It's really, uh, it's really helpful and yawn a lot, okay? Like, oh, or uh, take Even a, if you do not want to, yawn. Yeah? If yes, you do, just, when you don't want to, yes. Just and, or breathe a sigh. Ah, it really helps okay. and sometimes the best solution is to go to sleep early mm -hmm. uh, it is proven that uh, the uh, sleep before the midnight is really uh, 
valuable for our nervous system and our body. So if you can just go to sleep before the midnight, even at 10. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. <gasps> yes. It happens, but not very not often. Not very often. Yeah, let's be honest. Not very often. Yes. I, I like to see during the evening because mm -hmm. it's, it's really nice and a lot of nice things happening in the evening in the internet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but uh, the thing that we, that the tool that we are, um, that's really helpful uh, as well, and it's not used surprisingly a lot, is the meditation. And I'm not telling, uh, talking about sitting under the tree in the lotus pose uh, for 10 hours, <laughs> but I am talking about uh, closing your eyes and focusing on your breath. Only this. So. Try to find the position when your back is quite straight. You can do it on your chair right now, or you can find another position. You can even stand when you are meditating. You don't need to sit in a lotus pose, really. It's not really comfortable. And then close your eyes and focus on your inhale and exhale. And try to stay focused only on your inhale and on your exhale. Nothing else matters during your meditation. Only your inhale and your exhale. You can even talk to yourself. Right now I'm making an inhale. And right now I am making an exhale. This really helps to focus uh, and um, refresh, surprisingly. Okay, mm -hmm. so... Yeah. Uh, so the meditation is nothing really um, secret and strange and it doesn't need to, from you to do anything uh, very complicated. It's just focusing your mind on how you feel, where you are and that you are breathing. And it's really, really, really helpful. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's also really helpful when you get this... Uh, stage fright yes the, the the stage stress before before you go and you you will get judged yes and you will be judged and then when uh, that when you don't want to anticipate this being judged but just focusing on your that you are here and then you are breathing and this is your body this is your breath and yes because really breathing important. correctly contribute to our uh, relaxation of exactly. our muscles yes exactly. so okay so that's that's perfect <laughs> few more questions <laughs> how to relax our body after playing the instrument because uh, after hard work our muscles are cramped yeah. and uh, by stretching them uh, we allow them to come back to their original length mm -hmm. so how to do that this is um, you you basically gave us the answers yes so um, unfortunately we cannot tell our muscles to relax yeah. it's uh, probably you have experienced that that is that is not enough when you say relax and you <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly your your arms on your shoulders will just so mad like this no it, it doesn't work so we need to move to relax our our tensed muscles and they really need to uh, they really need to move to relax and the movement should be really soft and gentle and gentle yes and the thing so, so you you don't this you, you don't do this because you will probably uh, cause more uh, you will cause more uh, tension. more tension yes so you are trying to you can you can even do the same exactly the same exercise that you did at the beginning I, I really like the exercise with the hands because this is engaging the head the neck and the and all, uh, all the arms and forearms and and our and our back so you lift your hand and you look at your right at your right hand, you look at your right hand, and then with an exhale, you spread your arms wide, and and then you try to you try to uh, turn turn towards the right hand, and then with an in inhale you go you go back, and then you repeat the same movement on the same side several times. Inhale, go back. And third time to the to the same side again. Inhale, go back, and 
and then look towards your left hand and do this the same three times toward your left hand. Inhale up, back, exhale again the same side, inhale up and back, exhale the same side, inhale back up, exhale go down with your hands. Yes, it's really, it's really easy, it's really simple, but it works very well for our, uh, for all the muscles engaged when you play, engage uh, mm -hmm. in your work. But also a very important thing that you have mentioned is the stretching, yes? Um, the one thing we need to know about the stretching is that, uh, you shouldn't cross the the border of the pain where you feel uncomfortable yes so if you stretch you listen to your body the first thing when we stretch the wrist we can also can stretch the our uh, forearms like this mm -hmm. and our fingers to the both hands to both sides yeah like this perfect and you can breathe and you can listen to your body and you can stretch your fingers are still listening to your body mm -hmm. well don't be in a hurry mm -hmm. so we got some fingers <laughs> very well mm -hmm. You can also engage your arms like this. Mm -hmm, perfect. And with your side, like this and this. Perfect. And there is uh, one yoga pose that is really, um, that is really helpful. Just put your elbows like, like this. Okay, you're on the side, perfect. And then put your right elbow under the left. Yes. And then try to cross your forearms and then cro cross your hands. Okay. And the work, maybe you will feel it, uh, the stretching right now. Yes. yes, you feel it. Or if you, if you don't feel the stretching right now, you can lift your elbows a little bit and separate your hands a little bit forward from your head. Okay, so you should the stretching, feel the stretching right, right here. Okay, and then you relax really slowly, really slowly relax, and then change your side. Sometimes the muscle, the muscles are so tense that you cannot do this, okay? That you cannot do this. Many of us cannot do this. So the good idea is to hug yourself like this. And, little, and lift your elbows a little bit. It also works. And then you can put your head to the front. It also works. Okay, and then relax. So, if you can do the full position, do the full position. Or if you cannot do the full position, just hug yourself and relax your head, okay? And these exercises were oriented towards the front. And we need to also think of, of our back. So really nice exercise that we should do is to hug our elbows like this. Can you see me? Yeah. If it is not possible, you hug your wrists. And the work we need to do is to meet our shoulder blades to the back. Yes. And you need to take care of your pelvis in this movement. Pelvis cannot go uh, back, I mean, to the front like this. During this exercise, you need to put your pelvis to the back. And then when you keep your pelvis locked like this, you need to work with the upper body. So your shoulder blades together and then your, your arms down. Mm -hmm. And then you switch. Again, take care of your pelvis, go back and down as much as you can. Can you feel the stretching? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And the last thing is our neck. It is really fragile and you really need to care uh, for your necks. So, so the last thing you need to do 
do is to force your neck to the movement that it doesn't like okay mm -hmm. so again as we were uh, uh, we were uh, doing this exercise the same we are trying to do with our neck so we try to repeat the same movement three times so our nervous system get used to the movement okay, okay. so to the towards the left arms three times exhale inhale up exhale again inhale up remember about your crown on your head and exhale the last time and when you do this for the th third time stay mm -hmm. and when you stay try to relax your arms, arms so they can go down 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 and then breathe a sigh really loudly like <sighs> yeah. it really helps and again really loud <sighs> okay and then up and then to the other side the same and uh, really uh, uh, really important exercise that I really like and it really works I promise it's silly but it really works it's to write your name in the space with your nose Oh, with the big letters, okay? So my name is Barbara, I'm used to this, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult. Yes! No one said it would be simple. It's mm -hmm. silly, not simple. <laughs> yes, I have finished. Okay. With an exclamation sign. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And it really works for our neck to, to relax. So yeah, you can hide so nobody can see you and do this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Basha. I think that uh, it's the time to unfortunately end Say our uh, webinar. Yes. So you showed us pretty remarkable things today. And I'm really thankful for that. Thank you for the invitation, Carolina. It's, it's really nice. Uh, you shared our knowledge with us and uh, I hope that you like it and our next webinar will uh, be uh, the 3rd of December uh, there will be uh, the topic about the creating our own brand so the music management is involved in it so thank you thank you very much oh there is a chat somebody's uh thank you it was great and helpful thank you very much thank, thank you. you it's a pleasure thank us. you that you joined us it was a pleasure to work with you guys and thank you carolina for the invitation i hope these exercises were helpful and i hope that you really use them okay not only watch but uh, also use them yeah, yeah, and uh, we will put uh, this video on our YouTube channel, so I will let you know about that. So, yeah, it's better to repeat, repeat, and repeat, and repeat. And remember about Malasana, it's really important. Yes, <laughs> okay, okay, so uh, we are going to go and do a Malasana right now, and thank you, bye-bye.